here to talk about The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tones. This is going to be a spoilery discussion, so if you have not read this book, go watch our review. We will link it below. Yes, indeed. We have not discussed our feelings of yet. We have not. We read this for our In Real Life book club, and we haven't had the meeting yet, so we're discussing it beforehand. Oops. But, uh, okay, let's... <laughs> what did you rate it? I saw... I saw what you rated. Uh, we know we... Um, yeah, I know what you rated. Okay, so we both rated it five stars. <laughs> Yay! I will be honest, though. Yeah. It was like a four-star book mm. till that ending. Oh, the ending was great. The ending sealed it. Yeah. I was like, I love this book. Yeah. <laughs> I love it so it much. It did get very emotional and wonderful at the yeah, end. Yeah, it did. And it, it really, really, really did. super happy. Yeah. Okay, so the Crooked Man mm -hmm. was Rumpelstiltskin, right? Like... In the classic, like yeah, like fairy a twisted tale. version, I would right. say. Because we had the Red Riding Hood story, mm -hmm. we had uh, Snow White, and there was someone else. Who's the Huntress? I never heard any fairy tale connected with that. The Huntress, oh. where she killed them and mm, put them back together. No, this is book is not for children. No, it is not. Okay, I was very surprised at how <laughs> dark this book it was. So I was like, dark. whoa, especially that scene. And yeah, I thought she was supposed to be, like, um, a twisted version of, like, the witch from the Hansel and Gretel story. But we kind of had... Who was... There was another woman. No, there was a Hansel and Gretel story in there, but supposedly, like, she burned with... Yeah. The house. Um, but I just thought that was, like, a... Sorry. A story. <laughs> um, She's leaving. She's gone. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, I thought that was just, like... Like, the, a story, and then, like, she was supposed to be the manifestation of it or something. Okay. I was gonna, I wanted to ask you, because I feel like you're m more versed in fairy tales than I am. Oh. And so I wanted to know if uh, the Huntress was, yeah, no, per I say, based off, like, a specific, because, I mean, like, the Snow White in Red Riding Hood was very obvious. Yeah. And the Huntress, I was like, is this, you know, like, a fairy tale? Yeah, no, that's, that's the only thing I could think, um, I don't. I don't know of any, um, a hun actual huntress. Well, then we had the Sleeping Beauty, right? In the tower. Yeah. And, uh, unfortunately. I, you know, and I really appreciate that they put in, that John Conley did put in kind of like the gay romance with oh, yeah, the yeah. knight and his lover. Mm -hmm. and, Ferdinand? Uh, no. <laughs> Ferdinand. <laughs> For, uh, what was his name? For, not Ferdinand. Blah. Not Fabio. I uh, wanted to say like Steve or something, so I'm <laughs> way off. <laughs> I'm like, wow, you can. What was the? Oh, are you talking about the knight's name or the lover's name? The lover's name. Oh, <laughs> right. His name was like. I liked him so much. Roland. Roland. Roland and Rodriguez. R I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't know where. Don't I don't remember. Book. We don't on. have it. Uh, sorry. So, <laughs> I I really did appreciate that. I did you know, too. You do that in there. Also, um, I really liked the story about the woman who was in the looking glass, and she was um like oh. half, like half animal. And um, that story I've seen other versions of that story in other fairy tales. Um, there's the um, have you seen the Brothers Grimm? No. It's a great movie, and it has Matt Damon in it and Heath Ledger. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> my heart just melted a little. And uh, you need to watch that movie, but um, that, I would love to. that story was in that movie. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was really sad when, of course, she was rejected because of her looks, when he was like, I love you so much, and... Yeah. And really, all he did was hesitate. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like, that would... That would catch anybody off guard. Of course, and I feel like there could have been like an adjustment period where he was like, okay, so you have a half animal face. Well, get over this. I mean, it's just your face. <laughs> and your teeth. Her body's still a woman's body. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I read the synopsis on Goodreads. Uh-huh. And then I ended up buying the book because I, I kept tuning out the narrator on oh, yeah, audio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was a great narrator. He was good. But his voice is just one that's very soothing and just kind of like... Yeah. 
easy to easy to tune out for me. Mm -hmm. But I have a really hard time with audiobooks. I've said that before. Especially with deep voiced British Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Men. Yes. Yeah. It's so hard for me to like pay attention because I'll just start thinking about other stuff and I'm like, <gasps> what just happened? Yeah. So it's weird. I did not read the synopsis on the book when I bought it because I'd already read the synopsis on Goodreads. Goodreads did not prepare me for that. I thought that was like a way out of the blue synopsis for this book. <laughs> but the synopsis on the back was more fitting. Because mm. it had mentioned about like dark and twisted fairy tales oh, okay. on the back of the book. But on Goodreads, there is no mention of that. And so when like any. the very first story that came up with Red Riding Hood laying yeah. with the wolves, I was like... Okay. What? what? I was so lost. I was like, <laughs> is this happening right now? It was so confusing. I love that story. Though. I thought it was beautiful, yeah, but it was it, cool. I just did not expect it to go like that twisted. No. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> it was. Yeah. One thing I wished that there was was a positive female woman. I feel like, um, I feel like that was done on purpose because he he lost his mom right. and because he has a stepmom that he's unsure about and so um this world sort of manifests dreams and stories and so therefore he's like working through some things and so when he gets out he's like appreciative you're not so bad yeah but <laughs> um but still i wanted there to be like another woman there to like yeah. show lead him, him. Like, show him yeah. the way. Like, he had Roland and the hunt, not Huntsman. Uh, the Woodsman. Woodsman. I love the Woodsman. I really I was so thought happy he when was he came dead. Back. <laughs> I really thought he was dead. I wasn't so sure. I was, uh, um, I wasn't so sure. I had to go back and listen to that twice, because I was like, did we see a dead body? No. Yeah. And so, when you don't see a dead body. I, I didn't think so at first, but then it kept going on with no mention of him, and I was like, yeah, he's dead. Mm. And then we come back up, I was like, ah! <laughs> um, one thing I really enjoyed, speaking of the end, um, was the evil dude. What's his name? The Crooked Man. Yeah. His, the talk of his lair and all the horrible, mm. scary things that were inside yeah. of it was really cool, but twisted and scary. I also thought it was really cool how it had said that he would, um, steal husbands or wives away. And then show them, like, Ooh. all the twisted things. And it would, like... But then they would forget about it. And it would sow the seeds of doubts into their relationships and stuff. I thought that was very well done. It like clever. That, yeah, yeah. To imagine... It was just... Yeah, I thought... His whole character, I thought, was, like, a really unique spin on things. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Um, it also reminded me, like, I had, like, this super flashback where... Um, I had a Mother Goose book... And there was a poem in it called The Crooked Man. Really? Yes. And so I looked it up and it really didn't. Oh. It wasn't that scary or anything like that. Didn't really correlate. It was short. It's short though. We could read it. Yeah, sure. All right. Here is There Was a Crooked Man by Mother Goose. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Oh. Hmm. I want to say that I've heard that before. Yeah. But yeah, that doesn't really pertain to... So, that's interesting, though. I thought it was. Yeah. And that's like, um, not exactly a fairy tale, but a nursery rhyme. See, and I really like that he did such a spin on so many fairy tales. I really, really like that. And I do, okay, I know I said that I tuned out the narrator a lot, and at one point I was listening to it and reading along with it. Oh, yeah. And I have to shout out this narrator of his book, because I got to this one part, and I was just like, you're a great narrator, dude. Okay, let's hear it. And I'm going to play it, because it's just amazing. Quickly, he said to David, the name, tell me the name. Dirt fell on David's head, and the spider scurried across his face. Tell me! Shrieked the crooked man. I was like, yo, that is a good narrator. Yeah. Because I was just listening to it and reading it. And reading it in your head is completely different than hearing someone narrate it. Yes. And I was just like, whoa, that was good. It was so good. It was really he good. He did a really, really good job. Yeah. Narrated by Stephen Crossley. Go Stephen Crossley. Yeah, he was excellent. So anyway, uh, yeah. if, if you guys are into audiobooks... 
definitely. Yeah, that was a good one. I too did not know what to expect, and so that whole first part where his mom dies and everything, I was like, oh gosh, this book is gonna be. It was so depressing. Sad and kind of dull, and <laughs> I was just like, but then we get into it, and it's like, whoa. Yeah. I really like the seven drawers too, and I laughed oh, yeah. so hard that whole chapter was <laughs> my favorite because they were talking about trying to kill her. <laughs> and because you know, everyone knows the story of Snow White, and you're right. like, Why are you trying to kill Snow White? Yeah, and then you're like, Oh, <laughs> and they're like, If you know anyone <laughs> who wants a wife, send them our way, and just like with low standards. <laughs> really liked the unique spin on the fairy tales in this book and it was really entertaining and I really appreciate that you got to see uh David go from relying on like the woodsman and Roland and then he finally like told himself I have to do this myself you know I don't have anyone else now and I think that really helped his like character and his journey with yeah. Rose and things like that and it was super super sweet because yeah. who hasn't been a child and been jealous or angry over something whether it's, maybe it's not, you know, a stepmom and another child or anything, but I thought it was just really beautiful. Yeah. And that ending, you guys, oh my gosh. It was awesome. I was, like, smiling the whole time. Aww. And I was so sad, like, when his wife died, mm. and it was just like, and then he went back and the woodsman was like, hey. And I was just like, oh! Yeah. He's like, they always come back. And I'm just like... Oh my gosh, like, it's giving me chills talking about it, because it was just, like, it so was really, sweet. Really I, I loved it so much. And, um, I feel like that whole, you were talking about being jealous over a, a sibling, like a step-sibling. Yeah. And I thought that so, whole storyline, <clears throat> that whole storyline was very, lab, the labyrinth. Yeah. And, um, I saw a lot of, a lot of, um, inspiration. Yeah. Bro, I just saw so many different movies and stories all put into this one thing, and it just, it made me really happy. It did me and too. And it made me feel nostalgic, and I've never, I mean, this is the first time I've read it. Oh yeah. I think this is definitely a book that I would for sure reread again. Mm. And it just was, I didn't expect it to be, I thought it was going to be just like about books and, yeah. I, I don't know, but it just turned into something that was really different, and then the idea of like overcoming what you're afraid of like the king yes. and the lose and him realizing that he's kind of manifested all these things into this world and he still overcomes it and it was just it was a beautiful story yeah and it was really fun it was a really good adventure it like, was it was really really good yeah i've said that a lot it was really good. <laughs> it was really good. Okay. I think we're done. We're done? Yeah, I think we're done. Uh, obviously, let us know if you want to discuss it. We would love to. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. When you play the game of tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Our social media links will be in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. Am I, am I